Sickle cell anemia, deadly and not to be taken lightly. Sickle cell almost killed me. I've been living with sickle cell for 34 years. I wish I should not be a sickle cell again. Because there are times when you feel as if the whole world is crashing in on you. Sickle cell disease is a global health problem. Nigeria is the greatest burden carrier with about 150,000 born and 100,000 deaths annually. Uh, this is troubling for Nigeria because Nigeria carries the highest body worldwide. And over 4 million people already have this disease in the blown out form. But over 40 million again carry the trait. So with continuous marriage of these people, we will find out that more will be born. So a step has to be taken. So sickle cell disease um, is a genetic disorder. That means it is inherited. When two parents with the treat, means they have heirs get married to one another, they may give birth to a child and who has sickle cell. It takes about two days because the pain is very painful and I feel it in my bone very well. What is it? Bye. Severity of sickle cell disease varies. There are um, cases which are quite mild, in which they may have crisis just like once or twice a year. All right. And there are cases which are quite severe. The last Antonio's crisis, that was last year, June. He was admitted in this hospital, only and son. So, they just admitted by the third day, you get to coma. So, the crisis was so much. I bet one is 1,000, but you need to coma. I want to change the C. 7,000 per day. It's 3,000, but you need to make it. No, Juma. So I did bathroom, only I'm bathroom, good 14 days. In Nigeria, the economic situation and not so easy availability of health care or high malaria environment, coupled with a lack of a defined and specific commitment from the government, may contribute to worsening the problem. Almost every family carries this trait. And when they carry the trait, and there is no concerted effort to check their genotype before getting married, people continue to have more. Akon Daniel shares his ordeal with living with sickle cell for the past 40 years. For instance, there was a time I had crisis. My parents had gone to their place of work. I went to school strong, ill and hurt only to be brought back to So I just had to put up with the pain, excruciating pain. If I can't describe it, I felt as if I would die that day. I just started from chest pain. I thought it was an ordinary pain. All through the night, I was unable to sleep. I was rolling, crying. I said all the prayers I knew in this whole world. Early morning, my mom rushed me here to UCH. Then I met a doctor, and instantly I was Sickle Cell Hope Alive Foundation, SCAF, is a non-governmental, non-profit, charitable organization. Her vision and mission are to enhance awareness. It has made tremendous contribution to awareness creation on sickle cell disease in Nigeria, providing palliative measures for those people suffering from the disease. Uh, capacity building, research and training, advocacy, policy dialogue, and networking with sister NGOs, both in Nigeria and abroad. Journey began much earlier in my heart because of my, the antecedent of, my, of the excellent research of over 40 years of genetics, on sickle cell disease. Our objectives will be to empower those who already have the disease. Assist them with drugs. They use routine drugs. They cannot afford most times. This is the BioRad HPLC variant 2 system, um, which we use now for our hemoglobin uh, type determination. 
it is highly precise and specific. It determines the type of hemoglobin for sickle cell, for the diagnosis of sickle cell, and for thalassemia. This equipment is highly, um, is very expensive, but SCARF is collaborating with the unit in subsidizing the cost of, of testing so that people can benefit. We are proud of the fact that we have been able to bring those highfalutin impressive research of over 40 years into use in the community. That we are not just leaving these patients to grope about. People do not give them jobs. They say, oh, he's going to die tomorrow or something, which is wrong. I was empowered and enrolled at the University of Ibadan 2015 for the empowerment skill where I learned so many skills which I'll be using to help myself today. So that they can be on their own be able to supply their own financial requirements and be able to produce some things by themselves. In the past five years, SCAF has been involved in a prevention approach of sickle cell disease through two main frameworks, awareness and, the and of care. God. The foundation is equipped with a multidisciplinary team of researchers, medical and community-oriented professionals, all working together to assist in facilitating improved care of those affected with a sickle cell disease. The whole university was closed down to listen to my lecture on sickle cell disease. And one of them stood up and said, why are you not in my Duguri? The thing is more in the north. How many places can SCAP go to? The Know Your Genotype KYG clubs is set up to uniquely help establish even much wider awareness of the sickle cell disease. So if a club starts in a school, over the years, over the months, they will make more members. We start with an initial six members, and then the school, the school principal and the science teacher is part of this, and they make this grow in the school. Professor Olaiwola Babatunde Shitu, a professor of surgery, College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, highlighted an interesting aspect sickle cell patients may suffer. Preapism um, as a disease is actually an abnormally long or what we can call a prolonged erection of the penis and could last sometimes up to four hours or more, thereby resulting in significant pain and subsequently can cause a damage. Preapism in a sickle cell uh, patient tends to be more common in the fairly early ages, sometimes uh, within the first, second year, up to about 10 years. And then, of course, that there can be preapism that present later in some people when they are in their 20s uh, and beyond. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, come inside. Leg ulcer is another common aspect of the sickle cell disease suffered by its victims and Dr. Ayodele Ogunkayede shares more light on oh, this. It has been an awesome experience working with SCAF. Um, they have provided a lot of uh, finance in the area of care of uh, leg ulcers in the sickle cell disease patients. However, by second decade of life, the chronicity of the sickle cell disease starts to have impact on the skin and this leads to what we call skin breakdown. And when this skin breakdown occurs between the knee and the foot, we call it leg ossa. And because of the primary problem, which is sickle cell disease, that repeated and uh, recurrent cycling of the cells, which was in the situation of the wound, and this makes the wound chronic. Questions remain about the possible cure of this dreaded disease. There is a cure for sickle cell disease. It is called stem cell transplants. In this process, the stem cells are certain kinds of cells from the bone marrow that give rise to the normal blood cells. So these cells are obtained from a particular individual who doesn't have sickle cell disease and are transferred into somebody with sickle cell disease. SCAF has instilled some discipline apart from knowledge into my psyche. I have learned to manage this crisis better than I used to. In the government, if they can assist the SCAF to be helping us, because one try for what? If not, because of them, maybe I will have lost the child. I want to reject our philanthropists. I want to reject Jay. I want to be Jabakuna or Lowo. Come out, come on, my no Lowo. 
te ma kun o ma lowo nsin gbogbo ire ogun ti won sa alejo tori pe kini ire ta won sa ni pe kisiku se oyi ko dipun ni nigeria gidigidi lowo awon ijo staff pa pa lowo mo mo wa falusi ah won se gudugu meje yaya mefa tori mo an fun wa ni ogun mo an fun wa koda ta ba tun lo si meeting mo tun mo an fun wa ni owo mo to one thing that i'm hoping we will start soon is that we will add newborn screening in this part of Nigeria to our work. That way, the frequency will be known fast as children are born and parents can have adequate care of their children. Secondly, we will empower NYC in Nigeria to take our message of reduction of sickle cell disease to every nook and corner of Nigeria in the different languages wherever they are posted. If we have well-meaning Nigerians who can support this organization, they are, they, 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 they are working their talk and they are reaching out to these children and their parents. And therefore it is foundations such as this that uh, uh, need to be adequately supported in order for them to uh, get them uh, across to uh, care. The integrity of SCAV is not in doubt. Everything that we do is very well documented. It's a, an NGO that is periodically audited. The members of the board and management are men and women of integrity, and we are very, very confident that we shall not be found wanting in any way or form. You and I can join hands with SCAF to reduce the threats of more increase and to help persons already affected with sickle cell disorder age gracefully and achieve their dreams. Please help fight sickle cell disease. Let us make it a collective responsibility to fight sickle cell disease. Visit www.scafng.org or follow us on our various social media platforms Sickle Cell Hope Alive Foundation, SCAF, improving the quality of care and support for sickle cell patients.